NIO, a Chinese electric vehicle manufacturer, is expanding its business by launching their cars in the European markets this year and plans to build a factory in the US. The company has been in existence since 2014 and has made tremendous growth in the last few years. With 200,000 produced cars in total, NIO is gaining momentum to take its place in the global growing EV markets. And as you would expect from a Chinese manufacturer, it costs almost half as much as comparable models of a Tesla. And this, even though some people say that NIO has surpassed Tesla in technological advantages. Should Tesla really be worried about NIO? How does NIO try to revolutionize the battery charging problem with their battery swap technology? And how can NIO sell their cars at such low prices? NIO vs Tesla Welcome to a new episode of The Futurist. Hit the subscribe button and let's discover how NIO could become the king of the EV industry in just a few years. In 2021, 10% of global car sales were accounted for by electric vehicles, and it is predicted that the market share will rise to 33% by 2028. And as Europe is leading in the electrification of its streets, it's no surprise that the Chinese dragon has already stretched his claws to get a share of the cake. With a big domestic market, NIO has managed to grow their business rapidly since 2017, after introducing the ES8, and wants to expand now further to new markets abroad. NIO's SUV model ES8 is often compared to Tesla's Model X, and the first thing you'll notice is the price difference. While the Tesla Model X starts at $98,000, you can get a NEO ES8 for about $60,000. It's even possible to purchase the car without a battery for about $51,000, almost half the cost of a Model X. Wait, an electric car without a battery? This may sound weird at first glance, but we'll explain it in a while. It's actually a pretty smart system. No one could ask if a Tesla is not way better than NEO? At first glance, the technical data shows us roughly the same properties, and it seems like NIO has no disadvantages. All tests of the ES8 by NIO are surprisingly positive. It has the same reach as the Model X, for example, about 500 kilometers, 310 miles. And with their luxury sedan model, the ET7, which NIO introduced in January, they announced the flagship car to have even a 1,000 kilometer or 621 mile reach. That's a huge technological leap, and this is also why people rightly call NIO the Tesla Hunter. NIO is heading with Tesla in the high-end level of the EV industry. When it's about performance, max speed, equipment, and even autonomous driving, there are only minimal differences. So the main difference is only in price and in the way of charging. While a Tesla driver can visit Tesla's fast charging station and charge up with 150 kilowatt per hour to 100% within one hour, NEO needs 12 hours to charge up to 80%. But this is also what makes NEO so special, because the cars in China are not even charged anymore, at least not by the owner himself. They just have to visit inside a so-called power swap station and initiate the battery charge with only one click from inside the car. And within 3 minutes and 27 seconds, the car is equipped with a fully charged battery. That's a real game changer for the EV industry. With NEO reaching 10 million battery swaps in 2022 and 1,012 power swap stations in operation, the company has celebrated an important milestone. According to NEO's expansion plan into the European market, there are hundreds more planned, and one is already operational in Norway, and more than 20 are planned for this year. The goal is to bring the swap stations within a 3-kilometer radius for 90% of their customers by 2025. To realize the company's ambitious plans, they have opened a battery swap manufacturing plant in Hungary. The plan is to have over 4,000 power swap stations operational worldwide, while 1,000 of them are planned to operate outside of China most of them probably in Europe, and those will also be necessary to avoid queues at the swap stations. And as electric vehicles are commonly used in cities, the 3-kilometer radius rule could be achievable. It costs about $25 to swap a battery, or a monthly subscription plan for $140, while a full charge of a Tesla Model X in Germany costs about $37 due to rising energy prices in Europe 
It will be interesting to see if NEO can hold these low battery swap prices also in Germany while going operational later this year. And to be fair enough, the idea of swapping batteries is nothing new. Tesla introduced a similar battery swap system in 2013, but decided to expand the supercharge system. Indeed, with $50 to $70 per swap, the swapping costs by Tesla were also significantly higher. Another cool service that NEO offers is the Power Mobile service, where a NEO owner can let his car charge with just one click through a NEO app. A mobile charger thereby comes to the car's location and charges it up for 10 minutes, just enough for the owner to be able to drive it to the swap station. But yet, this service is only available in China. Additionally, NEO offers just to rent the battery instead of buying it. This, in fact, is also a big game changer because the battery is a very expensive component of an electric car. It decreases the purchasing cost of an EV enormously and makes it much more affordable. Leasing a battery from NEO costs about $140 a month, and if the battery loses its capacity over time and fails below a certain limit, the customer is entitled to a new battery. This can actually reduce the concerns about battery lifetime, so the owner doesn't have to worry about buying a new super expensive battery after just a few years. Overall, it can be said that the cars from NEO do not have a decisive disadvantage compared to the Tesla at first glance. But don't get us wrong, we don't want to advertise for NEO or anyone else on this channel, but rather to make an objective overview. So what about the criticism? One thing that stands out is the rapid development of NEO. Since 2016, they have released five different models. Of course, one can say that maybe one or the other has been copied, but which company hasn't? An important point about the fast development is the fact that the company does not do all the research by itself. It would take decades. They rather buy the technology from research institutes or universities, or simply other companies. And another point is they do not produce the cars themselves like Tesla. They prefer to outsource the manufacturing process in a joint venture with JAC Production, which is a Chinese car manufacturer who builds cars for other EV companies too. When it's about charging technology, the question remains whether the concept of swapping batteries would work in Western nations like it does in China, because skilled labor and energy are much more expensive here, making a $25 battery swap in these markets questionable unless China exports its cheap labor along with the battery swap stations. Okay. Still, the power swap stations have to be built first, and people in Europe also travel across borders outside the cities. So a dense swap station infrastructure in Europe along popular travel routes would be inevitable. Another critical point is that such a battery swap system requires a lot of batteries in reserve. Therefore, a lot more batteries have to be produced, and this in turn requires a lot more energy, resources, and pollutes the environment even more. The matter about resources in batteries is a problem anyways, where lithium, cobalt, and rare earth elements are required, and mining these in Africa or South America are associated with large environmental impact and human rights violation, while the mining in the world's biggest lithium producer, Australia, is less concerning, things in China are unclear. In a report which Tesla published in 2018 about the environmental impact of their EVs, it states how Tesla produces even more solar energy than they need for producing the vehicles. That's a great point for Tesla's carbon footprint, and in comparison, Chinese electric car manufacturers have a large carbon footprint because the energy mix in China is mostly based on coal, which in turn makes the point of electric vehicles a bit questionable. We made a general overview about NEO with all the pros and cons, but what do the numbers say? Let's have a look into economics. NEO's revenue in 2021 was $5.6 billion, which in comparison to Tesla's $53.8 billion in revenue seems like a dwarf, but with a growth of 127% from 2020, the company is in a rising trend, rallying towards a bigger share of the EV market. It even hit almost the $100 billion market cap in the stock market in 2021 and was valued higher than BMW or Daimler at this time. But the stock price crashed back immediately. But you can see there is a lot of potential for NEO. By expanding their joint venture contract with JAC Production, NEO has doubled the production capacity to 240,000 cars per year. 
and backed by the Chinese government with plans to enter the European market, the potential of NIO is huge. With Tesla selling nearly 1 million cars in 2021, NIO is still far behind Tesla. But its huge price advantage has even pushed Tesla to lower its price by 14% in China to remain competitive. This shows us that NIO is a serious competitor Tesla should worry about. But as competition stimulates the market, the development is definitely going to be exciting. Stay tuned and subscribe to The Futurist to stay updated about the world's rapid developments. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and help us beat the algorithm. See you in the next one.